My name is Kim Trevison. I'm Director of Retail Management and Leasing at Grand Central Terminal. This year we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the restoration of Grand Central and we wanted to show you some of our most favorite spots. Here we are at Grand Central Market. Once upon a time, the market used to be the loading dock at 43rd Street, dead end into Grand Central Terminal. During the restoration in the late 1990s, this space was converted into a market. One of my favorite things about the market is the upside down golden root olive tree sculpture. It's 5,000 crystals on it. It's a chandelier that is representative of the chandeliers throughout Grand Central Terminal. When the light shines on it just right in the morning, it's all aglow and it welcomes you into the market. We have 11 vendors here selling everything from fish, cheese, produce, bakery, chocolates, and many of the vendors that we have here at Grand Central Market are original from the restoration, have been here over 20 years. So we've come into Central Cellars. This area used to be the lobby for an old movie theater that was here. The movie theater was built in the 1930s. It had 242 seats. It cost 25 cents to get in and they would run one hour newsreel clips and short cartoons or short movies. The idea behind that was that if somebody missed their train, they had time to come into the movies. This was the lobby of the movie theater. A drop ceiling had been put in here in the 60s when this was all converted to retail space. And the ceiling here was uncovered during the restoration and now is the ceiling of Central Cellars. So we're standing in what used to be the waiting room area for all trains departing Grand Central Terminal. Right now it looks like it's empty, however, this space is used quite frequently for special events. We hold everything from MTA PD graduation ceremonies to the holiday fair and everything in between. We've had fashion shows, we've had concerts, and it's always fun, but it's also about being in the grandeur of the space and the building that really just makes it that much more special. This side of the Vanderbilt Hall is the home to City Winery, which is the opposite side of where we hold events, but still in the former waiting room that was for Grand Central when it was first built. It's an actual winery, so they do have fermenting wine here on the property. They have a kitchen in the back of the house. They also have a sit-down restaurant behind the door that has the clock on it. And they have live music here at Grand Central at City Winery. It's a big public space, and so this is really in the open for everybody to enjoy. And so if you're waiting for your next train, you want to pop in and have a glass of wine, this is here for you. Thank you for coming on a tour today with us at Grand Central. It's a pleasure to be working here and just really contributing to the overall longevity of such a beautiful building that means so much to New Yorkers. We hope to see you here again soon.